Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing our journey to Switzerland. Today we're flying from Chicago all the way to Zurich on United Airlines Boeing 767-300ER. This flight would normally cost over $6,000, but no way I'm paying that kind of money. So watch until the end to see how much exactly I pay using points. We do get access to the Polaris Lounge here in Chicago. However, I'm going to skip the footage in this video and just focus on the flight. Soon it's time to board and let's take a look at the plane. This 767 has the configuration of 111 in Polaris class due to its narrower fuselage compared to other wide-body planes like the Dreamliner and 777. If you want more privacy, make sure to book odd number rows against the window and definitely avoid even number rows and all of the middle seats because those are quite exposed. The seat itself is identical to the flight we took yesterday on the 787. However, since this is a long haul flight, we do get an amenity kit and extra bedding for sleep. Did you know the Boeing 767 was launched back in the 80s and United Airlines was its launch customer? Unfortunately, this means that our 24 year old plane for today's flight is showing its age quite a bit. On top of that, the cleaning crew here in Chicago for United Airlines didn't do a great job cleaning because as you can see, there are some spots that are really dirty and just outright gross. Soon, the captain turned on the seatbelt sign and we promptly pushed back. Then he got on the PA system and said that everyone should actually like and subscribe to our channel, which is <laughs> so nice of him. All jokes aside, I actually really enjoy looking out the window and doing some plane spotting while we're on the runway. I rarely fly on the 767, so I'm actually a little giddy while we're taking off. And the weather was really nice, so we get a good view of Chicago out the window. I'm also ready to see what service will be like on this long haul international flight. I have to say, after yesterday's excellent flight from San Francisco to Chicago, I have quite a bit of expectation now for this flight. What about you guys? Do you guys often fly United or do you prefer American Airlines or Delta? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, my name is Johnny. When I do flight review, I want to show you the realistic side of flying this flight, meaning there's no special treatment from the airlines, no red carpet rolled out for you. Just experience the flight like how everyone else would. If this is the kind of content that you like, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much in advance. Okay, so the flight just took off and I'm just waiting for service to begin and I get to tell you guys how the service on an international long haul flight feels like in 2024. Alright, so I know that I said this is just basically the same as before, but let's just go over the seats in case you didn't watch my previous videos. Uh, and if you haven't, check the link down below. So let's check out the IFE first. Okay, so this screen is all right. It's, you know, not the biggest, um, but it's a good size. And uh, for IFE, I know that uh, United always has a robust selection of shows and movies to watch. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, what they offer. Okay, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> uh, so another thing that, uh, again, one of my biggest complaints is that this is so close to the lake that it's really easy to accidentally touch a setting and the seat will just move. Actually, I think one some of the buttons here are actually uh, not functioning correctly. For example, if I press this one, nothing happens. Um, so I don't know if, if it's just a seat or yeah, it, it has to be just this seat, but oh well. Um, so we do have a coat hanger over here. Uh, always very convenient. Um, I like the lamp and the water. Uh, so that's good. That's something that 
uh, was an offer on uh, the domestic flight, the, the bottled water. Uh, again, I feel like nobody nobody really uses the, the old style remote anymore. Um, we got the outlet USB right next to the armrest, which is super convenient. Uh, reading lamp is on, that's good. And we have storage over here. Uh, as you can see, I already start putting stuff in there. And again, the um, headphone is here. Let's take a few seconds to look at the amenity kit. The current partner for amenity kit is Therabody, although not everything in there is from this company. Aside from the container, we have towel lead, lip balm, hand cream, hydration mist, and eye serum. We also got some generic United branded soft tissue, earplug, and dental kit, along with a small pen, a pair of socks, and eye mask. Other than that, the seat is fine. It's a regular Polaris class seat, so it looks the same as the 787 and the 777-300. Uh, but one thing that it's worth mentioning is that the last flight on the 787, I had the bulkhead seat and the footwell is much bigger. And over here uh, on the regular seats uh, that, are, that are not bulkhead seats, uh, I can tell that the uh, footwell is much more narrower and uh, might be shorter as well all right so it's only about five minutes and service already started we already got uh the tablecloth and i'm pretty sure dinner is uh coming pretty soon uh, after that all right drinks are served and i got a coke and more champagne along with warm nuts here's the menu and feel free to pause to take a closer look you can now also pre-book your main course a few days before check-in. Soon we got our food and I have to say it looks pretty good. Alright, so the meal is here. It actually looks pretty good. So we got uh, a baby green salad with a yellow bell pepper. I ordered the pork schnitzel. It's a pre-order meal. Uh, you can do that online now uh, with United. And for the other appetizer, I got the smoked duck breast along with uh, some bread. Uh, we got dressing and salt and pepper shaker. So, you know, the food actually looks pretty good, and which is surprising because catering has been their weakest link. Everyone knows that uh, a U.S. carrier uh, food is not that great. But you, you know what? Uh, my experience on the 787 coming to Chicago is really good and this look and smell good too so i'm gonna dig in and uh I'll let you know in like 10 minutes okay 15. five minutes later oh well everything is good actually just as i uh, expected the uh, uh, mushroom sauce on the schnitzel was really creamy really good the salad is fresh and the duck breast was good too so yeah a plus a plus catering on on this flight for sure <laughs> all right it's time for the last course which is uh the my favorite course is the desserts so they do have the the dessert trolley here so i remember uh back during the COVID times uh, the trolley went away and it was so sad um, so be sure that uh, you must try the dessert trolley on united polaris class when you're flying long haul flight Soon it's time to take advantage of the Life Last C and the Saks Fifth branded bedding. I have to say everything is very comfortable and I got a good few hours of sleep. So you know what they say, the more you sleep, the hungrier you get. Good thing breakfast came not long after that. It's some kind of bread pudding with fresh fruit, croissant and some yogurt and juice. I have to say, breakfast was not as good as dinner. Before we knew it, it's time to land and I got to take in the beautiful view of Switzerland from the plane. Okay, what's my take on this flight? I think the service was good. I don't want to take anything away from the crew. They definitely worked hard. Catering was good, although breakfast was not as good as dinner. But the plane was definitely showing its age and it was quite dirty at certain parts of the seat. So how much did I really pay for this flight? Well, I paid 70,000 points 
plus $55 in fees, which comes out to be a true cost about just under $1,000. Now that's $1,000 compared to $6,000, which is quite a bit of difference. And if you want to know how I achieved that using Air Canada's Aeroplan points, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to make a redemption situation video really soon. So you don't want to miss that. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.